الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته I'd like to talk to you today about the state of the Ummah and this is very very important to understand that as a Muslim we have to be concerned about what is going on throughout the world the Prophet ﷺ said in a hadith مَنْ لَمْ يَهْتَمَّ بِأَمْرِ الْمُسْلِمِينَ فَلَيْسَ مِنْهُمْ Whoever is not concerned with the situation of the Muslims then he is not from amongst them so we really need to think about and be concerned about the issues that are going on in Syria, in Egypt, in Palestine, in Kashmir, Somalia, Kenya, wherever there are issues and problems that are going on with the Ummah, we need to be concerned about them. This is further emphasized in a hadith of the Prophet ﷺ in which he said, The Muslims are like just one body. When one part of it is hurting, the rest of it also feels it. So similar is the case with us uh, being in the Ummah of the Prophet ﷺ. We have to hurt and be concerned when anybody else is hurting in the Ummah. And this is actually one of the main points we need to get across to our non-Muslim friends is why the Muslims, whenever something else happens halfway across the world, why do Muslims in another country start protesting and start making a big deal out of it? This is the actual reason for it. This is the reason why Muslims are concerned about other Muslims. Because at the end of the day, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also tells us, إِنَّمَا الْمُؤْمِنُونَ إِخْوَةٌ Indeed, the people of Iman, the people of faith, are actually brothers. So we are concerned or should be concerned about our brothers and sisters in humanity and the troubles and the problems that they're going through. Now, there are some things that we can do as Muslims for people who are being affected by tragedy, by war, difficulty. And one of the main things we need to be thinking about is to make dua for the Ummah. And the Prophet ﷺ, he was very concerned about the problems that people face. And he was always concerned about the Ummah. So much so that he said in a hadith that I wish to meet my brothers. He said to the Sahaba. So the Sahaba, the companions, they said to the Prophet ﷺ, Are we not your brothers, O Prophet of Allah? So he said, No, you are not my brothers, you are my companions. The brothers are the ones who have not yet come. So basically he was referring to his followers, his ummah, until the day of judgment. That's how much concern he had, but he was thinking about them. Then the Sahaba said, Ya Rasulullah, how would you recognize the Ummah on the Day of Judgment when you've never even met them? So he said something very beautiful again. He said that on the Day of Judgment, the, the body parts that people used to make wudu, the body parts, the arms, the face, the feet, and etc., they will be shining on the Day of Judgment, and that's how I will recognize my Ummah. So this tells us two things. Firstly, the love of the Prophet ﷺ is thinking about us who came 1400, 1500, 2000 years later. He was thinking about us. And secondly, how important it is to make wudu regularly and pray our salat, obviously. Because that's the only way that the Prophet ﷺ is going to recognize us on the Day of Judgment. So we need to make sure, just like the Prophet ﷺ used to make dua for his ummah, and be concerned about his ummah, we need to have that same concern and we need to make dua for our ummah as much as possible. And also, the people that are affected in problems, they need to understand uh, uh, the subject of a, uh, of a video that I made before. In Allah, la ma bi qawm, hatta ma bi Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not change the situation of a people until they change what is within them. What that means is that if the people are far away from religion, if they are disobeying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, if they are drinking alcohol, if they are committing adultery and fornication, and doing things which are against the spirit of Islam, then without a doubt, the, this is opening the door to the wrath of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the anger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and his punishment in this world. So if our community, our country, our nation, is engaged in these things and then it is followed up by these situations that occur in our country 
then we need to take a long hard look at ourselves and make sure that we make tawbah and we repent from this. Now you may have uh, a concern that how is it that some pious people may be also involved in the punishment of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when they were pious uh, and yet the people around them were being disobedient. So the Prophet ﷺ answered this question also that when the punishment of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala it comes then everybody gets involved. Okay, everybody is becomes the victim of that punishment if it is a general punishment. But on the day of judgment people will be separated accord, according to their deeds. So this is very very important to understand. There is another hadith in which the Prophet ﷺ, uh, mentions how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is sending uh, the angels to send punishment upon a particular nation. So then the angels come back and tell Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Oh Allah, there is such and such a pious person within that locality. Should we still go ahead and punish that locality? So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says to them that go and start with that uh, person's house because the disobedience of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala went on around him and he did not even bat an eyelid. He, didn't, he wasn't even concerned about it. So you need to start with that person. So this is actually, uh, as, an, as an ummah of the Prophet ﷺ, we should be concerned about everything and the difficulties that each and every person of the ummah is going through. And the biggest concern that we should have is how the ummah is getting further and further away from religion and how we need to save each and every person from the ummah and take them towards heaven instead of the hellfire. And the only way to do that is to invite, to remind, make dawah, to you know go to houses, uh, give lectures, uh, invite people to our houses, and then talk to them, advise them. All these things are related to uh, rectifying the ummah. And obviously, we cannot uh, go to every single person in the world to do that. But at the very least, what we can do is think about what we are doing within our own locality within our community and that is if everybody uh, takes that seriously then each and every person is going to be working in his community and locality and that will change the situation from locality to locality and then work its way outwards and mushroom into affecting the whole ummah I pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives me and you and everyone that will to understand and practice what has been said and heard نور على مر الزمان تألقا وأضاء للدنيا طريقا مشرقا وهدى من الرحمن يهدينا به للصالحات وللمكارم والتقى